Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on creating modified condition slash decision coverage MCDC testing using AI. In this case I use ChatGPT and we will use metabolic syndrome as our test case. These tests will be used to provide quality assurance sign off on a new metabolic syndrome piece of software. The principles for this testing can be applied to any software testing including financial systems. In this slide I want to frame the uh, core cool question of the talk. First, can AI generate MCDC modified condition decision coverage test sets in seconds? Yes, it absolutely can. But the more important question is this. Can we trust those tests to really give MCDC coverage? That's what I'm going to walk through today. I'll use a real medical example, metabolic syndrome screening, a condition where people often have things like a large waistline, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, high triglycerides and low good cholesterol. And a patient is considered positive for metabolic syndrome if they have three or more of these five risk factors. We use this to explain what MCDC actually is, why it's used in safety critical systems, and how AI can, be, can help us to design minimal test sets and compare them to full exhaustive coverage. MCDC is a code coverage criterion that checks whether each individual condition in a decision can, can independently change the outcome of that decision. So I'll just read that again. Each individual condition in a decision can independently change the outcome of that decision. For every condition, we need a pair of tests, we need a pair, where only that condition changes, all others must stay the same. So all other symptoms must stay the same except one, and the overall result at the end flips from true to false, or vice versa, that is false to true. It's used in safety critical software, avionics, medical, automotive, financial, etc., to prove that no part of the decision logic is dead or unused. Now that we've framed the problem, can we trust AI to give us MCDC test sets? I want to ground this in a real world example. We'll use metabolic syndrome. A patient is flagged if they have three or more out of five risk factors. On this slide, you can see the five clinical risk factors we use for metabolic syndrome. First, waist size. For men, a waist size over 102 centimetres or 40 inches. And for women, over 88 centimetres or 35 inches. Second, triglycerides. For both men and women, 150 milligrams per deciliter or higher. Third, HDL cholesterol or the good cholesterol. That's low if it's under 40 for men and under 50 for women. Fourth, blood pressure. 130 over 85 or higher or if the person is already taking blood pressure medication. And fifth, fasting blood sugar, 100 milligrams per deciliter or higher, or if the person is already medication on medication for high blood sugar. So if they're already on medication for one of these things, that flips it to one, which is true. In our example, if a patient needs three or more of these five criteria, the screening rule flags them as having metabolic syndrome. On the right, I've turned these into simple booleans. Zero equals false, one equals true. A through E. The business rule boils down to a single line. Metabolic syndrome is true if A plus B plus C plus D plus E is at least three. So from three to five. This is a decision we're going to test. First with full exhaustive coverage and then with MCDC. And we'll see how AI can help us build those test sets. On this slide, I want to show what happens if we take a brute force approach. We've got five Boolean risk factors, A through E. Each one can be either zero, false, the patient does not have this factor, or one, true, the patient has this factor. So the number of possible cases is two to the power of five, as we have five conditions, five Boolean conditions, Boolean representing the two. Now this leaves us with 32 possible combinations. Full combination coverage means that we test every one of those 32 combinations. 
Each row of this truth table is a unique patient, a different pattern of risk factors, and we check whether the system's decision matches the rule. A plus B plus C plus D plus E is greater than or equal to 3. This gives us excellent coverage, but you can already see the cost. 32 tests for just 5 conditions. If we added more logic or more factors, this number explodes. On the next slide, I'll show you how MCDC lets us get the same logical confidence with just 6 tests instead of 32. And I will see you in the next video.